Uh, Usha Madam, Patak Madam, can you all switch on your cameras, please quickly? I want to take a photograph of everybody. Turn on your videos, everyone. Yeah. Everyone, please turn on the videos. Please Usha start. Madam. Please start. Okay. Good morning, August dignitaries and distinguished resource person. I, Abdul Shamim, Assistant Professor of English at Renuka College, Besar Nagpur, welcome you heartily on the valedictory lecture of this lecture series organized for BA Part 2, Semester 3. Today is the 12th day of this online lecture series, which has been organized by the initiative of the principals of cluster colleges. Dr. Usha Sakure, ma'am, principal, Manohar Kamri, Mahavid Dalai Nagpur. Dr. Jyoti Patil, ma'am, principal, Renuka College, Besa Nagpur. Dr. Shraddha Anil Kumar, ma'am, principal, Dayanand Aryakanya, Mahavid Dalai Nagpur. Dr. Haridas Darke, sir, principal, late Rajendra Singh, alias Baba Vyas, Arts and Commerce College, Kundali. And Dr. Lakshan Jadav, sir, principal, Mahatma Gandhi, Arts and Commerce College, Parsiuni. The rational, behind organizing this lecture series is to provide platform to the students to get benefited out of it as the lectures are recorded and the students can learn at their own pace according to their own convenience. Now, I extend my greetings and invite Dr. Shraddha Anil Kumar Ma'am, Principal Dayanand Arya Kanya Mahavidyalaya Nagpur for her introductory remarks. Ma'am, Dr. Shraddha Anil Kumar, ma'am, I invite her for her introductory remarks. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Shamim, sir. I always remember line quote by eminent personality. If you are not willing to learn, if you are not willing to learn, no one can help you. If you are determined to learn, no one can stop you. Good morning to everyone. On behalf of five cluster colleges, namely Manohar Rao Kamdi College, Nagpur, Renuka Mahavidyalaya College, Vesa, Dayanand Aryakanya Mahavidyalaya, Jaripatka, Nagpur, late Rajendra Singh Alais, Baba Vyas Arts and Commerce College, Kondhali, and Mahatma Gandhi Arts and Commerce College, Parsivni. I, Dr. Shraddha Anil Kumar, Principal Dayanand Arya Kanya Mahavidyalay, welcome you all for online classes of BA Semester 3 Compulsory English starts from 25th November to 6th December and today is the last day. It is very heartening to note that students have given an overwhelming responses to this endeavor. It encouraged the teaching fraternity to come up with more such a innovative solutions and reach out to the students at this difficult time. I extend my heartfelt gratitude to the principals, respected Dr. Jyoti Patil, Dr. Usha Sakure, Dr. Haridas Larke, Dr. Lakshan Jadhav, and teachers of cluster colleges. Dr. Sujata Chakravarti, Mr. Pramod Gorde, Dr. Pranali Sane, Mr. Shamim, Dr. Minakshi Vasnik, Dr. Chetna Pathak, Dr. Minakshi Kulkarni, Dr. Deepti Jain Thakur, Dr. Pragyasa Upadhyay, Dr. Suchita Marthe, Dr. Humera Kureshi, and Dr. Renuka Roy, who have been very cooperative for this insertion of online classes. The lectures are streamed live on YouTube that makes self-paced learning possible for all type of students. The syllabus is new and the time are still tough. Students are not able to attend their colleges, leading to hardship in studies with exam. Round the corner, we decided to organize this online lecture series for the benefit of students. The NEP 2020, which will be implemented soon, also mandates formation of a cluster of colleges. We are glad to, to be following these, those guidelines. Every end has a new beginning. Today, 
might be the last day for this course but i believe learning is a continuous process students can look forward to many such a endeavors from the cluster colleges in future also i would like to end with this inspirational poem our dreams are never ending our dreams are never ending they are not few our dreams are never ending they are not few so stop wasting the time there is no much to there is so much to do don't sit behind with the folded hands don't sit behind with the folded hands any more brand new opportunities are knocking your door brand new opportunities are knocking your door get up walk outside and start moving towards your goal don't be scared don't be scared even if you your pocket is filled with holes even if your dreams are never ending and ideas are few you you do have the capability to make them come true you do have the capability to make them come true the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dream so students start making small small goals and pursue it and achieve your big goal big dream also i wish dear friends all success in your upcoming exam as well as in future also thank you thank you so much over to you renu kamal shamin sir shamin sir you are muted please unmute yourself shamim sir you are not muted you are mute yes i have yeah thank you ma'am for your wise words it is indeed a matter of pride and privilege for me to introduce the resource person of the concluding day of this online lecture series who is a great scholar and teacher of par excellence dr renuka roy ma'am i welcome her once again on this virtual platform Dr. Renuka Roy, ma'am, is currently working as an assistant professor of English in S. K. Purwal College, Kamti. She has got 15 years of teaching experience at the undergraduate level, and has also conducted the classes of PG students as a guest speaker. Ma'am has published many research papers in different peer-reviewed journals of great repute, like Literary Criterion, The Interior, Cynical, and Rukata. She has presented her research work at various conferences, seminars, and webinars of national and international level. She has published papers as chapters in books published by national level publisher. Her wide spectrum of phenomenal academic and research work urges one to remember, celebrate, and seek connection between people from all walks of life. Her area of interest is. feminist study diasporic literature and indo-caribbean studies ma'am is also a soft skills trainer and she gives excellent presentations on interview techniques and personality development ma'am is actively involved in different cells and committees in her college and takes keen interest in developing students language skills she considers herself as a lifelong learner and academician i entreat ma'am to begin her presentation on the topic pc voice expansion of an idea of a proverb prescribed on unit 4 in grammar and composition section now ma'am the floor is open for you thank you thank you very much shamim sir for such a generous introduction uh at the outset i wish to uh, thank and congratulate all the uh, colleges collaborating colleges uh, for this wonderful endeavor because this activity is greatly acknowledged and appreciated by the students from all over the colleges under nagpur university 
even the students in rural areas like in kohwa college they are they greatly benefited with this activity before the examination i congratulate the principal of the principals of the colleges manorao kamri mahavidyalaya nagpur renuka college besa nagpur dayanand arya kanya mahavidyalaya nagpur late uh, rajendra singh elias baba vyas arts and commerce college kundhali and mahatma gandhi arts and commerce college parsivni for this wonderful endeavor and i congratulate all the stakeholders who are working day and night to make this f make this endeavor a successful one mm, and uh, with the permission of uh, the organizers uh, may i now uh, i would like to share my screen mm. so uh, dear students uh, today's Uh, presentation is going to be greatly beneficial for you because uh minakshi madam is my screen visible yes madam yeah it's visible yes, yes. should i go ahead yeah yes ma'am yes you can yes yes thank you thank you very much today we are going to deal with grammar and composition section which uh, is the part of ba third semester uh, compulsory english course offered by prescribed by rtm nagpur university nagpur and in this portion which comes for unit fourth in this por portion we are supposed to learn phrase writing voices expansion of idea or a proverb dear students it is extremely important in order to learn a language it is important to understand the structural part of the language how is the structure how is the structure of a certain language works in different situation so if we understand the structural part of the language then only we can go ahead in writing uh, the full sentence in speaking without errors and in expressing ourselves flawlessly i would like to take permission of the organizers and would like to explain some of the parts in hindi and marathi in order to facilitate the understanding of the students students are uh, hame लैंग्वेज सीखना है तो लैंग्वेज की जो रचना होती है स्ट्रक्चर दैट वी हैव टू टेक इन टू अकाउंट ओके सो टुडे द एरिया दैट वी आर गोइंग टू फोकस ऑन द फर्स्ट इज वॉइस एक्टिव वॉइस एंड पैसिव वॉइस दे टॉक अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द लैंग्वेज हाउ वी कैन पुट अप सर्टन आइडियाज इन एक्टिव वॉइस फॉर्म एंड पैसिव वॉइस फॉर्म what is the significance in writing a sentence in active voice and then writing a sentence in passive voice though both the voices they are extremely important and we have in order to communicate effectively we must understand the fine nuances of both these forms of structure so let us first go ahead with the definition active voice like its name has subject as the prime uh, you know prime element of the sentence if we take a simple sentence we find that sentence has a subject verb and an object subject is the doer the active member of the sentence and verb is the action that mm -hmm. takes place and object is the result so active voice sentences is a form or a set of forms of a verb in which the subject is typically the person or the thing performing the action subject becomes paramount important the doer is more important in active voice sentences which can take a direct object so it is in deep you will understand which is direct what is direct object and what is indirect object we will see to it in the further presentation first we have to understand for example the teacher teaches her class 
this is the sentence if we take for example the teacher teaches her class okay so the teacher becomes the the element the main force the subject in this sentence teaches is the verb her action and to whom she teaches she teaches her class if there was a sentence the teacher teaches english text so the object is the english text so there are these these are the objects they are direct and indirect what does teacher teach the english text it is the direct object and whom does she teach whom does she teach so the answer will be her class it is indirect object another definition will once again be more important for from the perspective of understanding active voice the sentence is active voice means that a sentence has a subject that acts upon its verb so verb act subject is more important subject helps in shaping the entire action it is a grammar term used to classify sentence in which the subject of the sentence is the one actively performing the action of the verb so the, in the active voice the subject is important the doer is important than the action let us see some example to facilitate your understanding these are a few examples of active voice aapke samne kuch active voice ke examples hum yahan par study karenge sita reads science fiction so in the sentence sita is the subject what does she do she reads read become the verb since the sentence is in the simple present tense we use s or es with the verb and what does she read she reads science fiction if we ask the subject verb the question what what does she read the answer is science fiction so science fiction becomes the object the result of her action another sentence the cat killed the mouse the subject is here the cat what is the action what did the cat do the cat killed the mouse okay so the action killed resulted upon the mouse what what did the cat do the cat killed the mouse mouse becomes the object so here the doer is important the doer here is the cat the waiter is serving the dish so the waiter is the one who is action oriented they washed the clothes at the well they become the subject and washing is the action where does they wash at the well and what does what did they wash is the clothes my sister will cook dinner tonight what will she cook she will cook dinner dinner becomes the object and the one who is the doer is my sister the crows built a nest on the jackfruit tree the the agent or the one who is responsible for building a nest on the jackfruit tree is the crow so the crows are the subject what did they do they built a nest so the action is building and a nest is the object so these are the three important parts in the sentence that we have to take into consideration the subject verb and object in active voice sentence the subject is more important now let us go ahead move ahead with the definition of passive voice sometimes the doer is not important as the action is for example the uh, so for example if in some sentences we find that action is more important hmm. so in such cases 
passive voice form or set of form of verb in which subject undergoes the action of the verb subject is more uh, object is more important than the subject verb is in the passive voice when the subject of the sentence is acted on by the verb so subject is at the receiving end passive voice means that a subject is a recipient of the verb's action action is more important than whom it has taken place let us see some example to reinforce to support our statement for example the novel was read by me here in the sentence who read the novel is not important but here the novel was read reading of novel is more important so the object and the verb the action becomes more important in the passive voice form my laptop was stolen who stole the laptop was not important here but the first important thing is is that the action has taken place and the action is laptop was stolen so the laptop becomes object here and the action is was stolen the money was counted by the cashier counting of the money has more important in the sentence who counted it whether the cashier counted it whether the customer counted it it is it is secondary the main of main uh, emphasis is on money was counted okay bob dylan was injured in a motorcycle accident these kinds of sentences you may find if you read uh, you know newspaper if you read the newspaper you'll find that 10 men injured in a in an accident so where does that accident take place and who was the main person responsible for um, that accident <coughs> all these things they become secondary the first important uh, point of view from the newspaper agencies is to communicate that action has taken place so bob dylan was injured in a motorcycle accident so that person getting injured the verb having acted upon on the person on the subject on the object is more important here in the fourth sentence the ball was thrown by the pitcher okay so the ball is object and the action is was thrown and who threw the ball the pitcher he becomes the subject here subject is secondary but the object the ball throwing of a ball is more important mice are eaten by cats mice are eaten it is more important so we have to understand the object is mice here are eaten are the passive voice form of the verb and the subject is cats cat cats eat mice so here the importance is goes uh, importance goes to cat it is an active voice but when the form is reversed then it becomes passive voice the action is more important than the doer i hope it is clear now let us move ahead and see how to transform from active voice into passive voice because from examination point of view you need to understand how to transform a sentence from active voice to passive voice the object in the active voice becomes the subject of the passive voice so the structure is reversed let us see the first example in the first example you'll find the subject is the let me read out the sentence first the crow built a nest in this sentence the crow become the doer the active agent okay that is the subject of the sentence built is the second form of the verb 
past form of the verb build what did the crow build the crow built a nest nest becomes the object subject is the crow built is the verb past form of the verb a nest is the object when we are going to when we change this active voice sentence into passive voice the sentence looks like this object is nest it comes first since the sentence is in the simple past tense we have to use passive voice form of the to be form was built by the crow a nest was built by the crow since the third we use third form of the verb in the passive voice we have to understand children hum verb ka third form use karte hai passive voice karte waqt build built built the third form also it is built a nest was built by the crow so it is a simple sentence simple past tense which we have converted from active voice to passive voice a nest was built by the crow the next sentence is the boy was flying kites in this sentence the doer the active agent is the boy what was he doing he was flying kites so kites becomes the object in this sentence he was flying kites the sentence is in past continuous steps when we are going to change this sentence into passive voice we have to change it change it like this kites were being flown by the boy kites is a plural form plural object that's why we have to use were here we are using plural form of to be being because it is an ing form flown is third form of the verb by the boy now the next sentence the passive voice form of the verb is made by adding be to the passive voice form to be form is am are was were has been etc are the forms of to be that you might have already studied while studying tenses so i'll not go deep into that i take it like like you students have understood tenses well and there you have studied what are the uses of is am are was were has been had been etc so they are used in passive voice form example my sister will cook dinner tonight so in this sentence you will find that tonight denoting the time it is an uh, added uh, portion uh, you can remove that portion without harming the main sentence my sister will cook dinner also is a complete sentence in itself it doesn't need tonight to make its sentence sense complete so such words can be used at the beginning of the sentence in order to avoid any uh, hazards any problems any complications while changing the sentence from active to passive tonight the object is dinner will be cooked by whom by my sister so by my sister by the doer see in here i have written the passive voice is followed by by doer who do, who will do it my sister is important maya had left all windows open see this is a sentence in past perfect tense maya had left all windows open maya ne sare windows khule chhod diye the 
so the action had happened long ago so what she had left open all windows so all windows is the object in the sentence had been left open khule chhod diye the by who by maya so left is the verb form left in what condition in open form by whom by the doer doer is the one who is responsible for action she is maya i hope we are getting it see here are some more examples in order to under facilitate your understanding the cat killed the mouse the mouse was killed by the cat i'll go a little bit fast okay sita reads science fiction science fiction is read by sita the waiter is serving the dish the dish is being served who is doing it is here not that important you may add or you may not add the dish is served by the waiter they washed the clothes at the well the clothes were washed at the well the painter had painted the whole house by then so once again we have these the sentence in which by then is an added portion it can be added it cannot be added also without harming to the meaning of the entire sentence dekhiye by then agar hum log nikal dete hain sentence se painter the painter had painted the whole house see the meaning is very clear but if it is in the sentence in order to avoid the confusion my dear student friends we can put it in the, it at the beginning by then pehle le lo put a comma and then start the passive voice form of the sentence the whole house had been painted by the painter she expected you to visit her it is a different kind of sentence she expected you usne aap se apeksha ki to visit her the sentence will be it was expected apeksha ki gayi thi it was expected that you would visit her so there are some tricky you know sentences that come as a googly in the examination we have to read we have to understand and then change it from one form to another now sometimes the students have difficult time changing passive voice form of the sentence into active voice the car was being driven by balu the sentence is in passive voice the car was being driven car is the object was being driven car chalaya gaya who drove the car balu now doer is balu balu drove the car the one who is responsible you have to uh yes here there is a little bit of mistake the balu was driving the car will be right one okay uh the students were scolded by the headmaster the headmaster scolded the students the students were scolded by the headmaster the one who is responsible for scolding the student is the headmaster and the sentence is in the past form the headmaster scolded the students let the window be closed let someone if there is no doer so we have to invent one doer who is not committing on anyone who is a very uh, what uh, what do we call it who is let someone close the window who is here who will help us complete the sentence with proper uh, proper to let someone close the window okay please wait a minute 
a book on naturopathy is been published by the college a book on naturopathy is being published by the college the college is publishing a book on naturopathy so these two sentences are little bit uh, wrong uh, i'll check it out and i'll give you the right answer students and i'll circulate it uh, for your um, help the dogs have not been fed today nobody have fed the dogs today now let us move on to our next portion that is writing composition for composition writing we have prosy writing and expansion of an idea or a proverb so composition writing um mm, uh, you know uh, we most of the time we do not take composition writing very seriously we feel that uh, the question will come and as on that spur of the moment whatever we feel right we will write it down most of the students they do not do any prior preparation for writing composition dear students for your uh, ease the syllabus is very simple and you have been asked to write prosy an expansion of an idea which is very element in nature there are a few rules that if you could imbibe if you could learn and you practice you can write wonderfully well and get good marks in the examination let us begin with prosy writing prosy writing comes under the category of note making a passage is given and you have to read and understand the passage and you have to abridge the passage you have to shorten the passage you have to summarize the passage to one third of its length let us take let us have a look what is a prosy writing what is a prosy a prosy is like a miniature version of an original text the original text will be given to you from the examination purpose and you have to shorten that text and make it into a short summary it is a miniature version of the original text miniature matlab chhota version original text jo aapko diya gaya hai uska short version aapko karna hai it retains the essential points the mood and the tone of the given passage what is more important what has to be kept in mind aapko dhyan mein kya rakhna hai ki jo essential points hai use aapko dhyan mein rakhna hai mood aapka passage ka aapko dhyan mein rakhna hai tone of the given passage whether the tone is didactic didactic matlab aapko koi instruction de rahe hain whether it is some light uh instruction whether it is some suggestion whether it is some scientific information that you have to understand so in order to understand these three integral things while writing a prosy what do we need to do hame kya karna chahiye essential points dhyan mein karna hai humko kisi passage ka humko passage ka mood kya hai use samajhna hai ha hame dekhna hai ki tone of the speaker kya hai speaker hamare hame kis uddesh se is passage ko likha hai ye tino jo uh, uddesh hai these three objectives if we want to understand if we want to achieve these two objectives what are we supposed to do we are supposed to read reread reread the passage that is given to us for writing a prosy prosy likhne ke liye jo passage hame examination ke liye diya hai usse aapko acche se dhyan laga kar padhna hai and you have to jot down these three important points first is what is the essential point in the in the पैसेज पैसेज का इसेंशियल पॉइंट क्या है पैसेज में किस बारे में बात किया है वेदर द पैसेज इज अबाउट द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ टाइम वेदर द पैसेज इज अबाउट इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ हैविंग हेल्दी फूड 
whether it is passage about some legendary historical figure okay what is the mood pertaining in the passage whether the mood is didactic whether his mood is in for a sad whether it is an happy tone whether the author is instructing us to live our life to the fullest kya mood hai is passage ka wo aapko dhyan mein rakhna hai the tone of the given passage once again the same thing you have to understand some important points to be kept in mind when writing a press प्रेसी लिखते वक्त आपको कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट ध्यान में रखना है प्रेसी इज नॉर्मली वन थर्ड लेंथ ऑफ द ओरिजिनल पैसेज नॉट एग्जैक्टली ये कोई ऐसा यार्ड स्टिक नहीं है कि आपको जितना पैसेज दिया है उसका वन थर्ड आप करोगे तो ही आपको मार्क्स मिलेगा वन फिफ्टी वर्ड्स का पैसेज है और आप उसको पचास वर्ड्स में ही एवरेज करोगे देन ओनली यू विल गेट दी राइट मार्क्स इट इज नॉट देर इज नो सच ग्राउंड रूल्स बट you have to make it short and you have to convey the important point in the passage it is an exercise in reading and understanding so it is a part of comprehension comprehension matlab understanding aap diya hua passage kitna acche se samajhte ho and how well you can put down what you understood is the clear मोटिव बिहाइंड ऑफरिंग यू दिस एक्सरसाइज आपको ये जो एक्सरसाइज दिया गया है इसके पीछे एग्जामिनर का क्लियर मोटिव है कि एग्जामिनिंग एट दिस स्टेज ऑफ लर्निंग हाउ वेल ही कैन रीड एंड अंडरस्टैंड द पैसेज एंड राइट डाउन इन हिज ओन वर्ड्स आई हैव ऑब्जर्व वाइल while evaluating papers as the valuer valuer i have observed that students have the tendency to note down the points from the passage and rewriting it as it is so this practice has to be avoided it involves analyzing what is read selecting important point and using note making skills note making is to understand and facilitate the understanding of the reader if you are not willing to read the entire passage and you want to just understand what you understood from the passage so you write down the notes aap dekhiye aapke subjects mein aapne bada sa passage padha you have read a big passage on ge in geography about the how rivers they work how the river erodes the area and how it makes the uh, nearby area fertile aapne bahut bada passage padha okay and at, during the examination you don't find time while revising to read the, that big passage or the lesson once again so what do you do you abridge up usko shorte ho and you write down a few notes so that note making skills have to be applied here जब वो इंग्लिश में आता है दैट टाइम वी आर रियली क्लीन बोल्ड हम सोचते हैं कि अरे बाप रे हाउ टू डू इट सो दिस सेम स्किल्स यू आर रीडिंग सिविक्स यू आर रीडिंग अ पॉलिटिकल साइंस सब्जेक्ट एंड आपको बहुत बड़ा एक एक्सट्रैक्ट है हाउ द ग्राम पंचायत वर्क्स एंड नाउ आफ्टर अंडरस्टैंडिंग यू हैव जॉटेड डाउन अ फ्यू पॉइंट्स अबाउट द वर्किंग्स ऑफ ग्राम पंचायत मेंबर्स ऑफ ग्राम पंचायत देयर राइट्स एंड रिस्पांसिबिलिटीज and you have written down in a small passage near that huge big passage you know so at the time of revision that small passage that you have written down by understanding help you recollect what you have read so this skill is note making the same skill can be applied at the time of writing press it calls for the ability to rewrite the original passage clearly and briefly in your own words so you have to use your own words student friends i am telling it again that i have seen tendency among the students bachcho mein ye tendency maine dekha hai ki they pick up the words sentences originally as it is from the passage and rewrite it and they consider that their work is done so this is not pressy writing 
in order to write a successful praise you have to understand and put it in your own word use simplest form of sentence structures okay your sentences should be grammatically correct they should be short but grammatically correct the tense in which you are comfortable in which you have practiced well you use that tense most the simple present tense simple past tense are the oft used tenses in which we can write easily so use those tenses for writing praise now here is a big passage i'll read out please give shade for the benefits of others and while they themselves stand in sun and endure scorching heat they produce fruit of of which others profit the character of good men is like that of a, of trees what is the use of this perishable body if no use is made of it for the benefit of mankind sandalwood the more it is rubbed the more scent does it yield sugar cane the more it is peeled and cut up into pieces the more juice does it produce men who are noble at heart do not lose their quality even in losing their lives what matters whether men praise them or not what difference does it make what, whether they die at this moment or whether they live or uh, their lives are prolonged happen what may those who tread in the right path will not set foot in any other life itself is unprofitable to a man who does not live for others to live for mere sake of living one's life is to live the life of dogs and crows those who lay down their lives for the sake of others will assuredly dwell upon in the world of bliss so this is a passage which is offered to you for writing a praise so the main idea behind this passage the central theme is selflessness is helping others is to put your life to the use of somebody else and in order to reinforce the point the writer has taken the example of sandalwood sugarcane and he has reinforced the point that whether you are being praised for your work or not whether your life is short or long it is always important to not to live for mere yourself not to be selfish but to live for the sake of others to help others so that will definitely give you highest form of bliss contentment satisfaction the real pleasure so let us see the praise praise you have to write, write like this good men live for others see how well they have shortened it the character of good men is like that of a tree they live for others and do not lose their quality even in losing their lives they always follow the right path come whatever may be okay praise is immaterial to them whether they are being praised or not praised it doesn't matter to them to live for one's own sake is to lead the life of beasts beasts means janwar sirf apne liye jeena hai apna khana paan apna kapda lagta khud apne liye jiye to aap kaise jee rahe ho you are living like animals and human being is a social being so we have to work for society live for others only those who lay down their lives for others will live forever in the world of bliss they will be really happy and contented so this is the abridged form of the passage that we had seen earlier in the passage the word words were 198 and it came down to 71 here when we have converted it into its praise that means a summary another passage is there so due to constraint of time uh, i will skip this but i will provide these two examples to you uh, in your groups now let us move on to uh, expansion of an idea or a proverb 
dear students due to a uh, traditional education system mostly it has been observed that students faculty of ideation of imagination is greatly been curtailed hamara jo traditional education system hai it is based on memorizing yaad karna ratna rot method we use rot method so we memorize what is being taught what is being given to us in the form of notes and we are losing the faculty of imagination and ideation to a great extent for expansion of an idea or to extend a proverb into a complete press passage we have to use that faculty of imagination but that imagination has to be very nicely uh, you know trimmed very nicely modified into fine sentences and meaningful text with the use of proper grammar and proper construction of the sentences so now what is an idea idea or a thought is often expressed in the form of a pithy statement or a proverb chote chote proverbs hote hai they are short pithy but they are very full of so much of meanings you know S- small sentences they help us so well in understanding the greater you know um uh, greater realities of life sorry uh, i'm sorry i got distracted and i'll once again i'll share my screen is my screen visible now madam yes ma'am your screen is visible okay i'm sorry for getting disconnected no 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 it's okay please proceed ma'am Uh, yes now some classic proverb examples that can be wonderfully expanded the first one is better late than never little strokes fail great oaks that means if we continuously go on doing performing little act so we can achieve greater goals you know higher goals in life all work and no play makes jack a dull boy and this one which is really uh, an immortal piece of writing a thing of beauty is joy forever by john keats the pen is mightier than the sword we know that through the power of writing dedicated a 
continuously working is all now here is an exam the title here is knowledge is power and see how writer has beautifully expanded this small sentence into complete paragraph writer writes a person who has knowledge is equipped with power power does not mean the power of money or brute force or the power wielded by money rather it means power to understand discriminate between what is right and wrong the power to make right and or wrong choices so power can be understood by some people as money power is money or brute force if you have jiski lathi uski bhais hum bolte hai na so you have muscular power your muscles are very strong and then you can uh, have your force on anyone power he doesn't mean here the power wielded by money no it is not here we are mentioning we are talking about the power of intellect the power of our brain to understand to discriminate between what is right and what is wrong jisko hum bolte hain hindi mein vivek buddhi sarasar buddhi ki kya sahi hai kya galat hai ye samajhne ki shakti the power to make the right or wrong choices the illiterate person has limited choices of opportunity and advancement so the knowledge that we get through our education gives us enormous opportunity gives us lots of uh, scope for advancement but a person if he limits himself to illiterate position if he doesn't literate himself then his uh, his uh, advancement or his opportunity to expand himself gets very limited okay he, he cannot knowledge makes a man resourceful resourceful is a person who can help others also jo dusre ko bhi madad kare he is highly uska sansadhan wo khud hi ek sansadhan ban jaye and he could help others when he is faced with a difficult situation he is able to tackle it well so he applies his learning and he finds out solution his mind is able to come up with many ways to solve a problem so his analytical ability is enhanced and uh, is uh make made active by his education he is not bogged down by paucity of thoughts paucity means no thoughts at all come which are hi nahi aa rahe you are you have put blinds to your vision you know aapne dono taraf se se blind laga liye hai aapne idhar dekh rahe ho na idhar dekh rahe ho because your learning is limited okay so you will not have expanded vision educated nahi hai the one who is not having knowledge so he will have very less you know uh, he will not have good thoughts he will not uh, have scope to think in different ways you know he can even think up new ways of doing things the world is moving faster each day हम देख रहे हैं हर दिन दुनिया आगे जा रही है वी आर सींग मोबाइल टेक्नोलॉजी एंड एवरीथिंग नो वन कैन अफोर्ड टू रिमेन इलिटरेट डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई हैव सीन मेनी ऑफ माय स्टूडेंट्स दोज हु आर गेटिंग अपॉर्चुनिटी टू एडुकेट देमसेल्व्स दे आर नॉट टेकिंग इट सीरियसली द वर्ल्ड इज मूविंग वेरी फास्ट योर फेलो मेट्स योर फेलो स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ योर एज ग्रुप्स दे आर स्टडिंग सो वेल दे आर रीडिंग एवरीथिंग न्यू एवरी so if you are wasting your time if you are not getting knowledge at the time then you are doing wrong to yourself only everyone has to keep up with the knowledge of the times okay so whatever is going on aaj jo technology ka knowledge hai you have to keep up your, uh, keep yourself updated with that you cannot say no 
I am not of digital era, so I'll not understand this. I'll keep myself ignorant. Okay, so you have to update yourself. That is the power of knowledge. See, this is an example. Let us now, after seeing the example, uh, understand a few steps to develop an idea into a paragraph. You have to define or discuss the meaning of the statement in one or two, two or three sentences. Aapko jo bhi statement diya hai, aap, aapko diya hai, time is money. So you have to define what time is. Apne shabdo mein. In your own sentences, in your own words, you have to define what is time and what is the importance of time in one or two sentences. Describe the issues inherent in and connected to the state, statement in detail. You have to describe how time is important. If you are, you are wasting time, the time which, which goes by, which passes, it will not come back. Hmm. Once you lose that second, you will not get that time back. You know, huh? So time and tide waits for none. You know, you have to discuss, you have to utilize each moment of your life to the best, to the fullest. Okay. And whatever profession you are, whatever you may be your vocation right now, you have to make use of time to enhance that vocation, that profession to the best possible level. Use relevant and meaningful examples to adequately the expansion of the idea. Aap example dijiye ki Nehru ji used to work for 16 hours per day. When he was the Prime Minister of India, he used to work for 16 hours per day in order to give best possible service to, the, to his nation. You take the example of all, the, all your Olympic heroes. How hard they work there how many hours they practice you know to excel to achieve that goal hmm? you have to give example of the cricketers those who practice relentlessly to achieve excellence you have to take example of all those scientists working in isro nasa in order to uh, create new uh, you know inventions in order to do new kind of inventions in the field of space and science you know so apj abdul kalam so you have to get examples from all those great you know uh, uh, books and uh, literature that is available to you and make your writing very rich. Rich be bahut flowery na ho. Lekin aapke example relevant ho. Aap Mahatma Gandhi ke quotations de sakte hai. Aap Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam ke quotations de sakte hai. Ki unho ne samay ke baare mein kya bula hai. Ha? Then. And finally, you need to provide a conclusion that sums up your you need to provide a conclusion that sums up your paragraph in one or two sentences. So that makes your paragraph look complete. It is not abruptly ended. You know? So this is what is required when a student is asked to write a paragraph or expand or develop an idea. Complete paragraph. Here are some other examples. Due to constraint of time, I may not be able to uh, read this because we are already uh, running short of time. So I will definitely communicate this with the organizers and the students. They can read these paragraphs and they can be benefited, you know. And finally, uh, I would like to uh, thank you all for uh, your patient hearing and for listening to this lecture and uh, paying attention. I want all of you to have a great time ahead preparing for the examination that is just around the corner. And uh, the uh, examples that I have given here, the notes that I will soon be giving to Dr. Minakshi, madam, that I had promised um, will be of great use to you, I am sure. And uh, with the permission of the uh, organizer, I will stop sharing my screen.
thank you very much madam really and thank you very much for your valuable inputs over to shamin sir yeah i express my sincerest and deepest gratitude to dr renuka roy ma'am for explaining active and passive voice in a simple way with the help of structure she has given the practical tips to convert the paragraph into a summary outlining that the pc needs to be one third of the original paragraph covering all the important points she has lucidly elucidated how to develop a paragraph through an idea or a proverb ma'am your tricks of writing skills will certainly prove beneficial for the students to hone the writing skills of the students i profoundly thanks all the principals of the cluster colleges dr usha sakure ma'am principal manohar rao kamdi mahavidyalay nagpur dr jyoti patil ma'am principal renewa college besa nagpur dr shraddha anil kumar ma'am principal dayanand arya kanya mahavidyalay nagpur dr haridas ladke sir principal late rajendra singh elias baba vyas arts and commerce college kundali and dr lakshan jadhav sir principal mahatma gandhi arts and commerce college parsiuni for providing this virtual platform to the students for developing their language skills i am indebted dr pranjali kane ma'am dr minakshi kulkarni ma'am dr dipti jain thakre ma'am dr skita marathe ma'am dr humera kureshi ma'am and dr renuka roy ma'am for accepting our uh, invitation and made presentations on the allotted topic i am obliged to the coordinators of the cluster colleges dr minakshi vasnik ma'am from manorao kamdi mahavidyalay nagpur dr sujatha chakravarti ma'am and dr chetna patak ma'am from dayanand aryakanya mahavidyalay nagpur dr pragyasa upadhya ma'am from rajendra singh elias baba vyas arts and commerce college kundali dr pramod mr pramod gode sir from mahatma gandhi arts and commerce college parsiuni including me for the coordination and cooperation to make this online lecture series a grand success last but not the least my thanks are due to all my dear students who attended the lecture on this virtual platform one last announcement for the students the feedback link will be shared on the groups do fill the feedback form and submit at the earliest thanks once again and my best wishes to you for your university examinations bye and have a good day thank you shamim sir thank you renuka ma'am thank you very thank much you, thank you minakshi madam thank you thank you, thank thank you. you for the opportunity thank, thank you, you.